What is up, stud troopers? It is I, Republic Studs, and welcome to our brand new series. Um, this is gonna be like a once a month thing. I'm gonna be doing like once a month. We're gonna be uh doing a Q and A series. So put your questions down in below before we get in. And yeah, let's get started. So before anyone says it, I'm not copying him in our productions. Every Lego YouTuber does this. You just uh, right here. Look. Okay, get in the video. Hello, everyone. It is I, Republic Studs. I saw in the intro. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, first, um, CT9123 Legio asks, uh, what editor do I use? So recently I have been using um, PowerDirector uh, on my phone. It's a great app you download. Uh, my main complaint, you can only upload in 720p unless you pay for it, which I might do, but I might be getting, I'm getting a laptop very soon to edit, so probably not. Um, so that's one, and I frequently use VideoShop. Um, for videos that I don't need to like put pictures up in front of. So re most of my recent videos have been Power Director. His second question is, why are you so awesome? Um, that, that means a lot, thank you. And if you ever got the chance to meet someone, who would it be? Um, like if it was a dead person, obviously it would be like a relative. But if like you're saying like, what, if you ever got to meet a celebrity, which I assume you meet, mean, what, um, who would you like to meet? Honestly, like, I'd like to meet, like, Dee Bradley Baker at, or Star Wars people. The voice of all the clones, that would just be fun to talk to him. Because he's been in so many, like, of these uh, types of things that I just enjoy generally. So, um, he would be pretty cool. And if I owned Star Wars, what would I do? I'd immediately be like, okay, Mr. Lucas, you have it back. Congratulations. I, I'd just give it back to George Lucas. <laughs> if, if, like, Disney somehow sold me Star Wars, I would just, George Lucas. If George Lucas was dead or whatever... Um, I'd probably put it in the hands of the right people. I, I'd say that much. Moving on, we have the Hound Dogger ask, um, what paddle pack would you like to see that nobody else is talking about? Now, honestly, there are two. Um, first is the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. Um, nobody is talking enough about how we need the, uh, Rebel Fleet Troopers, Tantive Four, whatever you like to call them. They, they, how have they not been made? I mean... There was one back in 2009-ish, I believe. Um, came with the Stormtrooper one. And just, why is there no Rebel Trooper Battle Pack? I, I need some Rebel Troopers. I only have two, and it's very sad, and I want more. More! If I could at least get, like, 12 to, like, for, to I could recreate the Vader scene. So if I could get, like, three of them, that would be perfect for me. Um, another one I don't see a lot of people talking about is a is a 442nd battle pack. That's just a personal preference. I think they're cool. I like the green and everything. I'd love to see a 442nd trooper battle pack. I have a 442nd. Um, not enough people are talking about that. Everyone's like, wolf pack, galactic marines, you know the drill. Anyway, if I go first, obviously. Next is uh, Flak Productions. He asks, will you make another Republic Studs figure? Um, chances are no. Um, if, if we sell out of this one pretty soon, Probably, but we need to start selling them, guys. I have about 20 left in stock, so if anyone wants to go buy, there's plenty for you to go get. Um, uh, they haven't sold exactly what we thought they were, so we might come back to it later on when I have like 10,000 subs or something. I don't know. Um, Bricks, by, Bricks by Bricks had an interesting idea on it. But uh, yeah, anyway, moving on, we have SC123C. Um, who, he, he has a lot of good questions. Um, what is your favorite Clone Wars set and why? Now, I only actually own, like, give or take, like, six clone-related sets. The, AT, the Podwalker, the, AT, the new ATTE, um, the Turbo Tank, if you count, um, file first ATRT, obviously a treasure, and the new Turbo Tank. And the new Turbo Tank's meh, the Podwalker's just okay. Um, I like the TX-130 Saber Tank. That is a, uh, the, I'm just going to call it the Saber Tank. It's the red one. Um, that is a very nice set. I think it's well in proportion. It's, it's proportional to, like, Battlefront. Um, I like that one a lot. It comes with a very cool Phase 2 Trooper. Um, but yeah, that or the 501st ATR here are probably my favorites. I also do like, um, Captain Rex's ATT. That one's just very sentimental to me. I, I played with that one a lot as a kid, so, uh, that one probably, if, if that counted, but it's a Rebel set, so. But if that counted, it would be probably be my favorite. Moving on, we have SE123C again, uh, what do you think of the new characters coming in Mandalorian? I hate it, to be completely honest. I mean, I'm sure they'll execute it greatly. Just, I love the Mandalorian being its very own individual thing. There was no one we knew in season um, one, at least that we know of. Um, like, that guy might have been Boba Fett. But 
I, I don't know. I just, I, I, want it to be, I, I wanted it to be a standalone thing. I was really hoping that would be the case, but it just isn't, and I'm sad. Um, because I think Star Wars is best when it's kind of doing its own thing without relying on original stuff. Um, the, the KOTOR or the prequels, they basically, the only thing with the prequels is they couldn't have anyone survive to um, the originals except for Darth Vader and Obi-Wan and, you know, the deal, and Yoda. So the, the prequels were pretty different. The uh, originals obviously had nothing that they had to work off with, so they were amazing. Um, the sequels were just completely, they, they had to adhere to so many, uh, it was just, sequels were, they're not my favorite, but I, 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 I still think they're fine. Um, who's your favorite custom Lego seller? Um, Bricks by Bricks YT, obviously, personally, because he's great, but when it comes to the products, uh, I'd definitely say him and CEC. Um, he offers a very diverse array of uh, clone stuff. CEC offers uh, printed clones. So for printed clones, CEC is easily my favorite. For more diverse stuff, it's definitely Bricks by Bricks YT. Um, I've gotten many orders from him. Um, Public Studs Trooper. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I just dropped something. Um, so definitely um, Bricks by Bricks and Clone Army Customs. They're both fantastic. Um, my favorite video that I'd done so far, um, oh, that was Nutella Juice, um, 13 that asked that last one. Um, the SC123C dude, again, asks, uh, what's your favorite YouTube video that you've done so far? Um, easily my most popular as of now. It looks like it's going to be overtaken by the Battle Pack one, which is insane. But it's, uh, Rico Lego Star Wars Story 2. It, that was passion project, put months into it, six months into it, I believe, um, and it just turned out so great. I love it. It is fantastic. Looking back on it, it's, it, it's like you, you start to see the flaws when you create it. When you don't, I'm sure, I'm sure it looks better when you don't. Um, Lego Star Wars Stop Motion, yes, that's his name, asked, uh, if they make a new AT, OT dropship, would you buy it? Um, depends on the price, uh, to be completely honest. If it came with, like, crazy amount of clones, probably. Um, SC123 again asks, uh, what Clone Wars set do you personally want to see in the future? And again, which figs would you want in it? Um, honestly, like, if they did, like, a Jedi Temple... Well, that's not Clone Wars. I was going to say Jedi Temple Battle Pack, but, uh... Or Jedi Temple, uh... You know, um... Like, it's Assault with the Bible First clones. Um, but, um, when it comes to sets I'd like to see, I'd really like to see, I obviously want to see a gunship. I do not own a gunship, and I really want one. So, uh... I think the best figure with it, with it would be uh, Jedi Bob, like not UCS, just regular gunship. Uh, it, like Jedi Bob, uh, at least six clone troopers, and uh, two pilots. Just a perfect little quaint set. Done. Okay, next up from Kuru, do you like Star Trek? I haven't watched it, but I'm going to just go and say no, because J.J. Abrams probably just copied another Star Trek film with it. Moving on, um, Cole Greason asks, if you could ever buy one Lego set again, what would it be? Um, hmm, I, I own a lot of Lego sets, but if I could go back and buy any one Lego set, I, I, I love my Ewok Village, but I think I'd go back into 2000, to 2014 when the Falcon was still for sale and go rebuy that because mine is falling apart. So the, that was also my first big set, so the 2011 Millennium Falcon is the set I'd remake. Um, Jacob, the Lego guy, asks, do you play with Legos like you do with action figures? I haven't in a solid, um, I, I used to, absolutely. I haven't in about a solid year and a half. Um, it's just a bit more difficult because, like, when I'm making videos every five seconds, it's like, I try to every now and then, like, I'll set up, like, a little battle or something, but I just can't get myself to do it anymore. Part of me getting older and part of me, um, making YouTube videos. So that takes up most of my time up here in the Lego area. And then when I'm not doing that, I'm doing the stop motion, so, yeah. Um, but if you do, that's completely fine. All power to you. I wish I could still. Yeah. Anyway, finally, I believe this is the last one. Flack Productions asks how to not be socially awkward. I'm the wrong guy to ask about that. I, I'm, I'm, you can't ask me that. that. I'm the last person to ask about that. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, click all the buttons, uh, Discord, Patreon, Instagram, all the other things. Discord, I said that already. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Q.
Kiari doggy. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Uh, bricks by Bricks by T selling some crazy stuff right now. Um, check the link in the description below and just check out what he has. Um, I don't need to feel like I need to tell you, but he just has so much stuff and I think you guys should get a chance to look at it because he's done some pretty nice things they bet you never even knew he had. Um, plenty of pretty decal figures, plenty, plenty of all the things. And once he sell, sells up some stuff, he'll be able to get more stock for this uh, upcoming release, which I am really happy to uh, see. Okay, see you all later. Peace.